Today, I'll show you how to start affiliate marketing. Personally, I've used these exact methods to make over a million dollars online across multiple platforms. And in this video, I'll show you how to drive massive amounts of 100% free traffic to your affiliate links, and of course, how to convert that traffic into sales. All right, step one, get excited because I'm about to share with you a crazy strategy. I'll show you how to find keywords on Google that have zero competition just like this one here. This is a common search that a lot of people type in every day into Google and check this out, there is zero results competition. This is a huge opportunity for you guys because if you put any type of content online, it will rank in Google search as long as you put in this keyword into your content. That can be a blog article, that can be an Instagram reel, that can be a YouTube short, anything that you put in online on this topic will rank in Google and get you traffic and it will get you sales. So your content will start ranking here on page one and you will start getting passive, free, unlimited traffic every single day from people just searching for your stuff on Google. Step two of the method is to choose your niche. And I've got three niche suggestions here for you. In general, what works well with this method is niches, that have got a lot of different model numbers and brand names. For example, guitars, that's suggested niche number one. If you look at a list of all the different Gibson guitars, you will see that there are tons of different models of guitars. There is Gibson ES5, ES125, ES135, ES137, and the list just goes on and on and on. And of course, you're not just limited to Gibson guitars, there are Fender guitars, there are all different sorts of brands. And again, if you look at Fender guitars, they've got lots of different models. There is Bronco, Bullet, Coronado, Esquire, Marauder, and so on. So niche number two would be cameras. For example, you look at the Sony cameras. Sony have got a ton of different models of cameras, A7R, A1, A7R, um, Mac 4, Sony A7CR, Sony A9, Sony A6400, and the list just goes on and on and on. There are dozens and dozens of different Sony cameras. Then there are, of course, Canon cameras. And of course, there are various other brands with their own model names too. The third niche where it works really well is microphones. For example, if you look at Rode microphones, you'll see there is lots of different models of microphones. Again, there is NTG5, Lavalier Go, there is K2, TF5, M3, and so on. Again, dozens and dozens of different models of just the Rode brand, but then of course there are other microphone brands like Shure and Blue Yeti, each with their own lots of different models. And you're probably thinking, why? Why do I have to have all these different brands and all these different models? Let me show you something. Imagine you want to buy a camera, what do you do? These days you do the same as millions of other people every day, you jump onto Google and you start researching. You'll start typing in something like Sony ZV E10 review. And now very important, please pay attention to this. You'll see that Google is actually suggesting the following to me. And that means that this is a real search term that people are searching for every single day. This is something that is a common search term because it's in Google's database and Google is giving you the predictions that perhaps this is something that you're researching for as well. So Sony ZV E10 review is a very common search term. And because Sony cameras have got so many different models, if you multiply these searches by the number of different models that people are researching every single day, there are basically tens of thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands of people looking at various Sony products every single day. Now, what happens is this. Someone will type in Sony ZV E10 review. They'll take a look at some of these pieces of content and perhaps they'll click onto this link and they will read the review. Now, here's what's gonna happen. Someone will take a look at the different results that they're getting from Google and they'll say, okay, this looks pretty interesting. I'm gonna check out this review and they'll read this review. And if they like this information, they might end up clicking through onto this link here that says see price. Now, as soon as they click this link that says see price, they'll be taken to Amazon and then they can buy this product from Amazon. And just in case you're not familiar with affiliate marketing, this link over here is a specially encoded link that will drop a cookie on the visitor's computer. And if that visitor then goes ahead and buys this product from Amazon, then the owner of this website is going to get a commission. And here are the commission rates of the Amazon affiliate program. So that means that if someone is buying something from Amazon through your affiliate link, you're going to earn this much depending on what category this product falls into. All other categories is 4% and then on some others it's between 3 and 5%. So what does it mean for the owner of this website? Well, as soon as someone lands on this site and they click on see price and they end up buying something from Amazon for 749 euro, the owner of the site is gonna make a commission of 749 multiplied by 0.04% 
that will make a commission of $29. And that is completely passive just by having this piece of content out there on the internet because it has very little competition. It's ra ranking here on page one and is getting a lot of traffic. Now, of course, the owner of this website, artings.com, they don't just have this one article about Sony ZV E10. They've, over time, they've built out their site to include hundreds, probably even thousands of pages, each of these pages getting traffic every single day and bringing sales to the person who owns this website. And the big question is, how does Google decide what to put onto page one? The main factor is how much competition there is. And to check competition, the best thing to do is to use the search term all in title, semicolon, and then put in your keywords. In this case, Sony ZV E10 review. We can see now there are about 30 results that have got Sony ZV E10 in their title. The title of the page is what you see here in large letters. Okay, so they've got Sony ZV E10 and review in the title. And that's what gives Google uh, an indication that this is what this page is about. If we check with another Sony model, for example, Sony A200, let's do that, A200 review, we can see there are 24 results. Let's try Sony TX5. So we're gonna take out this and type in TX5 review. We've got 29 results. And your goal here with this method that I'm about to show you today, your goal is to find keywords and products where there is zero competition or at least maybe a maximum of five to 10 websites that are competing for that particular term. Because if you find something that has got no competition at all, you will have a very easy chance of ranking on page one, getting all of this review traffic and selling this product via your affiliate link. Guys, honestly, there are so many of these opportunities. This is why I was saying to you in the earlier step that you should find a niche that has got a lot of different models. Look at this Rode, very popular microphone brand. They make a microphone called NT55. And if we check the competition for this, so let's type in Rode NT55 review, you will see that there are only four, only four websites on the whole of the internet, only four websites that are targeting this particular search term. Therefore, if you publish a review about Rode NT55, you will only be number five on all of the internet that is actually targeting and is talking about this product. Therefore, you'll have an extremely high chance of ranking on page one and getting traffic. There is also another brand of microphones called Neumann and Neumann also make a ton of different microphone types and I'm gonna show you something crazy. All right, so they've got this microphone, Neumann KK204, this microphone over here. And if we check the competition for Neumann KK204, guess what? There is not a single website out there that has published a review of this microphone. That no one has made a YouTube video, no one has made an Instagram reel, nothing, no content has been published that contains information about Neumann KK204 review. And there are literally thousands of these keywords where there is absolutely zero competition, guys. I hope you're seeing the potential. I hope you're excited. This is what I have been doing. I've been publishing reviews of these kind of products. And this is what I want to share with you guys today. This takes us to step four, which is the process for finding tons and tons of these keywords that are completely untapped. The first way is to use one of my favorite tools called SEMrush. If you click the link in the description below or this link on the screen, you can get a 14 day free trial of this tool. SEMrush makes it easy because on the left-hand side, you can click keyword magic tool and then enter your keywords. And typically what I'll do here, I'll go through all of the brands of the niche that I've chosen. For example, if I choose to publish about microphones, I'll enter something like all brands of microphones and then I'll pull up a list of all microphone manufacturers. And here we go, I've got about 30 brands of different microphones starting from Akai, going all the way to Shure, Sony and so on. Then I can use this list to quickly generate keyword lists in SEMrush. And here is how I'll do this. So first of all, let's go with Akai. All right, so I'm gonna go and type in Akai and then I'll type in review. All right, Akai review. And after I click search, that will pull up every single search term that people are searching for that has got Akai and review in it, including all the different models. So here you can see we've got 1,925 keywords and I've got Akai MPC review, Akai MPK249, Akai 4000DS MK2 reviews, and so on. So these are all real things that people are searching for today. And then I can just verify competition for each single one of them using the all in title trick. So if I go here and just replace that with Akai AAR20 review, 
bingo, we've got another keyword that has got zero competition. Then I can take this one and type that in and we've got one result for Akai AA1030. So add all of these things into your shortlist and then once you've worked your way through all of the Akai models, then you move to other brands. For example, you can go to AKG, then you'll do Aesthetic, then Audio Technica, then Behringer and so on. The second method of course is to go directly to the manufacturer's websites. And that means that you'll go to the Behringer website or to buy a dynamic or blue microphones and so on. And you'll pull up every single model one by one so you'll you'll for example if you're looking at Neumann Berlin then you'll go and say okay KM184 okay Neumann KM184 review you might want to also check without the space all right so we're getting about five to six results for each of them and that means that there is very little competition so this is a good keyword for you to work with then you'll do the same with KMS105 KMR81i and so on step five writing the actual content so how do you go about creating content like this when perhaps you know nothing about microphones. How do you write content just like these people do? Well, there are two ways. One is you can educate yourself. Maybe you can become interested in this and you can actually read. If you need to write a review about Rode NT55, type it into Google, read everything that you can find and you'll start building up that information in your head. But there is an easier second way of doing this and that is by using ChatGPT. So if you jump over into ChatGPT, you can give it a command, write me a blog post about and then give it the keyword. So Rode NT55 review. Let's plonk that in here and hit enter and ChatGPT will go ahead and write that article for you. There's almost nothing that you've got to do. It's going to pull all the information that it can find online and it will create an article for you. Look at this, just like that, you've got a review. Now, if you're going to put this onto your website, I recommend that you rewrite it in your own words because this was generated by AI and in general, there are no problems putting AI content online, but to future-proof yourself, perhaps Google will change their algorithm. They may not like AI content as much in the future. So I would take this and I would just rewrite it in my own words. So now you've got the content targeting a keyword for which you know there is basically very little competition, if any. That means that if you publish that content, and someone types in Rode NT55 review, you will have a really good chance of being on page one. That brings us on to step six, which is how do you actually monetize this keyword and this content? So you should check whether this microphone is available on Amazon. Let's go in, type in Rode NT55, and yes, we can see that these Rode NT55 microphones for sale on Amazon. That means they can refer your traffic to Amazon and that traffic, once they make a purchase on Amazon, they will earn you a commission. So if you type in join Amazon affiliate program, look for a link that says amazon.com associate central, then get onto this platform and sign up and enter all of your information, you will generally be approved instantly. Once you've joined and signed up, you will be able to get a special affiliate link for each of the products on any page on Amazon, for any product on Amazon that you can share on your blog. So it'll be a link similar to this, say how this website artings.com has put uh, this link C price. So you'll be able to get that link and you'll be able to recommend those products as well. So you've now got your keywords. You've now got a way of finding those keywords and creating content on those keywords. And the next step is for you to be able to create a website and start publishing that content on your website. That's why you should watch this video next. This video will show you step-by-step step how to buy a domain hosting, how to install everything and how to start publishing the content so that you can get the traffic and start making those affiliate sales. So go ahead, watch this video next. And before you go there, smash like on this video and subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this.